guys, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my brand new mini series, El Salvador's Ruta de las Flores, where we'll show you what to eat, where to stay, and what not to miss. Starting here at the heart, an amazing taco. A taco is located in Nahuachapan, El Salvador, about an hour and a half away from the capital city of San Salvador, along the scenic route of Ruta de las Flores. And that's where we start our journey. One of my favorite things about a taco is you can just literally walk anywhere. Everything is so close together. I mean, it's kind of like El Salvador in general. It's small, but it packs a big punch. There's a lot going on in this tiny little environment. It's so much fun to just walk around and soak it all in. One of my travel tips is if you get the chance to try local street food, do it. You will not be disappointed. Uno doble. <laughs> Hey guys, love your video. Oh, thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Humberto and Julia. Nice to meet you. Well, Humberto and Julia, you're on the next video. Don't call me those Bertos, just Humberto. Just one Berto? Humberto. Humberto, que gusto. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice yeah. meeting you. Same here. Nice meeting you. you guys have fun. Yes, thank you. Bye bye. Oh, you guys see what the I do. This is delicious. Really? Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of liquor in it, but just enough to give it a bit of a kick. But it's really good. What's it taste like? Like. Hot chocolate if it was melt with cinnamon. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Get out of the way. I'm speeding through. That dog's got spirit. Okay, <laughs> even though there's not a lot of liquor in it, I still feel weird walking around the street with liquor because you can't do that in the States. Yeah. But you can do it in a taco. You can do it here. always get when I come to a taco. Uh, one is coffee, one is pure honey, and then we like the artisanal crafts and jewelry. Look at that drunk guy. El borracho. Another travel tip, one that has helped me a lot, is learning Spanish. Because as you know, speaking the local language can go a long way in connecting with people in a new place. Hola, buenas tardes. 
¿Qué? Eh, ¿Qué clase de café o variedad te gustaría probar? Sí. Eh, tengo ahorita un bolbón natural, tengo un blend que es platinado con bolbón, está muy delicioso, de hecho creo que es el que más recomiendo a los clientes. No sé si te parece bien eso. Ok, este, sí, por favor. Ok, perfecto. Más clara. Uh, sin leche y sin azúcar. Perfecto, así okay. será entonces. Gracias. Ok. There are many ways to learn a foreign language, but one of my favorites is with LingoPie. LingoPie offers a fun and engaging way to learn another language through watching popular TV shows and movies. It's similar to Netflix, but with interactive subtitles and in the audio that you're learning. There's a wide variety of movies and TV shows to choose from as well. I didn't feel like it was a chore learning at all. It felt so natural and contextual learning through watching movies. <laughs> you have your choice of subtitles too. You can have a mashup, which in my case is like a Spanglish. Or you can have your native language, the language you're learning, or both. But my favorite part is the interactive subtitles. If you don't know a word, you just click on it and it automatically translates and puts it into your flashcards for gamification later. So I highly recommend LingoPie for anyone who wants to learn a foreign language in a fun and engaging way. And if you're planning a trip to a foreign country, trust me, it's gonna make your trip so much better. So go ahead, click on the link down below in my description box and get a free seven day trial to LingoPie along with 55% off your annual subscription. Enjoying a nice cup of coffee, and yeah, there are. And it's great, and there's ring pops. There's ring pops here. They have lots of art, lots, lots. They have lots of artisanal crafts and different art. The art here is so interesting. Like, what about this girl? She's made out of paper. The art here is so beautiful, but also so unique. And aside from the art, they have these looms here which is how you make the traditional cloths. And there's this gorgeous garden area. Not to mention the coffee and food. So this is all made out of bottle. It's clay and it really actually changes the taste and texture of the food too. It's awesome. But you're visiting family right now. We're visiting here for the 70th anniversary for our parents. Yes, it was great to meet you here in Ataco. No, yes. this is awesome. This is awesome. I hope you enjoy your Yes, yes. meeting you with your kids, your husband. It's awesome. Watch you guys. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, our kids, Danny, Christy, and the whole Escalante family. <laughs> nice. Thank you, guys. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yes, I have an idea. So behind me, you can see that they are making an alfombra. An alfombra is a rug, uh, and they make it out of sawdust, out of salt, out of pigments, out of spices. It smells really good. And the idea of this is it's specifically for Semana Santa or Holy Week. 
And on Friday, there will be a large procession and reenactment, and they will walk all over the Alhambra while carrying a life-size version of Jesus in the tomb. It's really quite impressive. These will go on for blocks and blocks, and some will be more intricate than others. It's one of my favorite times of year here in El Salvador. Isn't it Thaco cool? It's so amazing. It's like quintessential El Salvador, but without the hustle and bustle of the city. I love it here. Here comes the famous Ataco conga bus. Well, famous to me, because every time I come to a taco, I see it, and I've always wanted to get on it and try this experience. So hopefully, we can flag them down and do it together tomorrow. But for now, it's time we head back to our amazing hotel and call it a day and have a drink. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Wow. I wish you could smell this because this is incredible. It's good. It looks amazing. Wow. Now that's a sandwich. <laughs> Girls hungry? Not only is the town beautiful in itself, but think of a taco as a central hub for all the activities that you could do when you're in El Salvador. For example, 45 minutes from here, you could be at a lake that's been nominated to be one of the eight wonders of the world. You could be at Mayan ruins. You could go around the town and explore different colonial uh, architecture. There's an amusement park right around the corner. Thermal waters, waterfalls, national parks, and a taco is the heart, it's the epicenter. Everything's so close and there's so much to do that one day wouldn't be enough. It's secure as well, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. I feel like that's a big um, point to touch on whenever people are thinking about traveling to different places, especially uh, South America, Latin America. I feel like there's a lot of um, stigmatism when it comes to uh, those countries, so here people can actually feel safe and protected with their family members. We would love for you guys to stay with us for your entire trip in El Salvador. If you're looking for a good coffee, tranquil night, and be ready and energized next morning to go and do your activities, then this is the place. If you had to describe the hotel in, in just a few words or a sentence, how would, how would you say? I would say the hotel is, hmm, never really been asked the question before. <laughs> Um, it's beautiful, spacious, warm, quiet, and uh, it's just, it feels like home. And that's part of our kind of motto, you know, you come to a taco and uh, you stay at your home. Tu casa na taco. Flores. 
Flor de Lee is an amazing hotel in Taco El Salvador. All rooms come with super comfy beds, Wi-Fi, AC, hot water, and complimentary breakfast. And there are different sized rooms to fit your needs and price point, starting at only $95 a night for two people. All right, guys, so we are about to head out from the hotel and try to catch a conga bus here in a taco. <laughs> guys, the norm right here. <laughs> it's beautiful. And this conga bus is something that I see every time I come to a taco. It's a double-decker tour bus. And I've always wanted to go on, and I've never had the chance. So we're going to do it together. Let's go. Chivita Tours! <laughs> we're here in a taco and we're gonna go around on this double decker bus checking out all of the tacos. It's a beautiful day. walking uphill yet again <laughs> we were dropped off they dropped us off here at the jungle <laughs> that's the name of the place right <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're not actually in the jungle let's be clear here the name of the place is jungle okay <laughs> uh, but right now we're walking up apparently they have some tourism sites some vistas and you can eat lunch here and then they come and pick you up later and finish the tour around a taco who is that? An angel. No, a Carol, not close enough. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The vista was incredible. And the, and the trampoline. The girls got to play on a trampoline while we finished okay, our lunch. Got electric. Yeah, they got a little spiky there. But the lunch was incredible. Those tacos were so good. How was your fish? It was good. It was really good. And it was really reasonable. It was only $2 to get here. And then the food, our tacos were only $5 each. And it was amazing. It was so good. 10 out of 10 recommend this experience. Yeah. We're standing here now waiting for our chariot to arrive. The bus is going to come back and pick us up here. Choco banana, let me see. 
choco banana. Choco y elote banana. loco. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And they have little Pilsner. I don't know that your Barbie needs to be drinking Pilsner though. She already has one. She already has one. Pan His name's Ojita. Memorias, sabores, colores. Es una experiencia inolvidable. Así es El Salvador. Gracias por ser parte de nuestra aventura. Bye. See you next week, guys. <laughs>